Assalamu alaikum. Welcome and karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar's Kitchen. Guess what I have for you today? This very simple, delicious Mexican style shrimp cocktail is going to spice up your day. All right, so I'm going to start cooking the shrimp and I like to flavor the water. So I've used one stem of uh, cilantro. You can use any type of herb that you want, some bay leaf and fresh garlic that's been sliced, some peppercorns and uh, salt, fresh lemon or lime. And you can flavor this water with whatever you have. So we're going to bring this to a boil. And I've used 800 grams of uh, frozen and thawed shrimps. But if you have fresh, that's much better. To a boiling water, just add the shrimps. But since they were cold, the temperature has kind of gone down. So you want to make sure that you bring it back to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, just cook it for about two minutes. All right. Because when you overcook the shrimp, they become too rubbery. All right, so after two minutes, I'm just going to remove them and put them in ice cold water to prevent them from cooking further. And we're going to keep this liquid, make sure that it's cool because we're going to add it to the cocktail. All right, so in my mixing bowl over here, I have got the tomatoes that have been diced like that and the cucumbers and the red onions. You can use white or yellow. So I've used the same amount of volume, not weight, all right? And uh, some ketchup. I like to use Heinz because it's not too acidic, but you can use any type of ketchup. So I used about a quarter cup. And um, Tabasco, you can use any type of hot sauce that you have, especially if you have the Mexican type, the Cholula, which I didn't have then. So I've divided the shrimp into two, uh, about eight pieces for garnishing, and the rest were sliced. So we're going to add the juice, the shrimp juice that we made, or you want to call it stock, about half a cup. Just going to mix it well, and then add the shrimps. And then we're going to, you always want to taste, okay? So I used, uh, for this one, I like to use the lime, but you can use the lemon. And I like to use the same quantity as the ketchup. So quarter cup of lime and quarter cup of uh, ketchup. But you can always balance it the way you like it. If you want to add more or you want to add less, you want to add some uh, red uh, chilies, uh, I mean, fresh chilies like uh, uh, jalapenos if you have, however you like it. But you want to balance it according to the way you want it, okay? If you want it more spicy, that's fine. So I just added some salt, and of course, you want to taste as you go along, all right? Some cilantro. I, I should have done some more. My kids said it was not enough, and yes, it was not enough, so just add more cilantro for this, all right? Okay? I normally don't uh, measure, but because of the video, I wanted to measure so it's easy for you guys, but uh, we need more cilantro for that. And if you have mint, this is totally optional. You can add some mint, all right, to give that beautiful minty flavor. All right, so I'm just going to mix it well, and uh, once that's done, keep it in the fridge for about an hour or two, okay, to get all those flavors well penetrated penetrated all right so this is how i like to keep my shrimp for garnishing but you can do it however you like it and you can serve this in this kind of bowls or the one with a wide rim but today i like to use these ones and uh, you can serve this for lunch or dinner parties of course i use them for brunch and um, if you have not pressed that bell button, please do not forget because you don't want to miss this kind of goodness. All right. And uh, for the garnishing, you can uh, place your the shrimp on the rim like this or just on the top, however you like it. And please don't forget to visit the description box to grab yourself those ingredients. And... Uh, if you want you can add some avocado that's totally optional so thank you so much for watching and i wish you a wonderful day